As Jamie left for school, the transporters began their busy day. Nigel was traveling past the court when he noticed that Barney and Jenny had stopped. What's wrong? asked Nigel. The road is blocked, explained Jenny. Hmm, I can move that, said Nigel. Barney was surprised. You can, he said. It's really heavy. I'll go really fast and bump it out of the way, said Nigel excitedly. Barney and Jenny were worried. I don't think that's a good idea, said Jenny. Something could go wrong. I think we should use grab, added Barney. But Nigel was already reversing back along the road. Here I come, he shouted. There, said Nigel proudly. Problem solved. Look out, shouted Jenny. Oh no, said Nigel. I didn't mean to break the window. I'm sorry. Barney was angry with Nigel. We told you that wasn't a good idea, Nigel, he said. I know, said Nigel sadly. Being shouted at by Barney made Nigel sad. I'm sorry for shouting at you, said Barney. I know you were only trying to help. But you do need to be more careful, Nigel, added Jenny kindly. I'll try, said Nigel, feeling better. See you later. Hey, slow down, Nigel, called William. You'll have an accident going so fast. But Nigel didn't slow down. Don't worry, William, laughed Nigel. I'm used to speeding along. Hey, slow down, Nigel, called Sally. You're going too fast. But Nigel didn't slow down. Don't worry, Sally, he called. I'm in control. Nigel, look out, shouted Sally. The traffic lights. Nigel was surprised. He braked as hard as he could but he was going too fast to stop. Oh no, shouted Nigel as he crashed into the side of Charlie. Uh, you've knocked me off my track, said Charlie sadly. Nigel was sorry because he hurt Charlie. I'm sorry, Charlie, he said. It was an accident. But how am I gonna get back to the junction? Asked Charlie. Nigel knew just what to do to repair the damage he had caused. I'm gonna fix you, Charlie, he said. Wait there. I will, said Charlie. Nigel returned with Grab to help Charlie. I'll have you back on your track soon, he said. Charlie was happy to be back on his tracks. Thanks, Nigel, he smiled and Nigel was happy that he'd repaired the damage he'd caused to his friend. Back at the junction, Nigel told William and Sally that he was sorry for not listening to their advice about slowing down. Sorry, William. Sorry, Sally, he said. I think that's enough saying sorry for one day, Nigel, said Jenny. Sorry about that, said Nigel. And everyone laughed.